Good afternoon everybody, welcome to another video. I hope you're well. As you can probably see, I'm just next to a tiny little river. I've come out for a couple of hours to do a little bit of fishing this afternoon. It's the 4th of October today, it's about 2 o'clock. And I just fancied a couple of hours down this little river. Now I've never fished it this early in the season, and indeed I've never fished it this low either it's about something like i thought i had some splashing then it's something like a foot lower than the lowest i've ever fished it before but it may make fish location a little bit easier because lots of it are going to be very very shallow um but i show you just to show you how different it is at the moment um you can see that clump of uh reeds over there rushes over there that's in the winter a lovely slack where chub sit <laughs> however clearly they're not sitting there at the moment and uh, as you just saw we've just been chucking in a little bit of mashed bread very simple approach today so lots of mashed bread it's actually been in the freezer since last winter big bag of mashed bread i've got some bread to put on the hook and i've got some worms as well and that's it we're going to keep it nice and simple i'm going to rove around just to see if we can catch some chub i mean chub are really the fish i would expect to catch um in this river now what I've got with me, as I say, I've just got my bag with me. I've got a net landing net, of course, and I've got my trotting gear. I did think about bringing my trotting gear and whether I should bring it or not. Because it's a little bit windy, but it's not too bad. And I think we'll be able to hunker down a bit and run the float around. I'd much prefer to run the float around if I can. And I've got my gear I've been using in lots of the other videos, if you've seen any of those, down the Y. Now we'll be changing this out um, slightly differently as soon as the Y trotting trips are over but for now because this as you can see stays set up exactly the same setup as, as on the Y I've got 021 main line which will be changing <laughs> for uh, for a lighter perhaps 019 or oh, actually 015 I change over to um, when I take this off and, and don't trot on the Y anymore um, so yeah I've got 021 on there at the moment bit bit hefty for here um, I've got a, a Drake alloy stand stick float there i've just swapped this out for my usual dome top one for uh, for a standard top one with a very thin top just for the less uh, resistance as the fish tries to take it uh, and the rest of it's exactly the same i'm sure you've seen this before just gonna olive it, olive it there to cock it i've got a fluorocarbon hook link uh, which i'll be using two and a half pound today um drennan suplex uh, 2.6 pound i think it is uh and a size 10 or 12 hook depending on the size of the bait simple as that as i say just in me putting a little bit of mashed bread in here we'll keep going assuming the fish are going to like this um it's a bit of a confluence here um got a stream running in over there and a sh the main river coming around behind me here it's a bit of a confluence a little bit of a pool here we'll have to just see how we get on as i say i have absolutely no idea whether we're going to do any good or not it may be an absolute total waste of time but it may be cracking, but we'll find out. <laughs> I didn't run you through the rod and reel, but you probably saw it. And if you, as I say, if you've seen any of the previous videos, you'll certainly know about this, my Tournament Pro, Dawa Tournament Pro rod, 15 foot. It's good for anything from a uh, tiny little dace and roach to uh, to barbell this thing. I've got my close face 506 Mark II reel, which will come in handy today, I think, with this wind. Right, already managed to hook myself in the arm. <laughs> right, I think it's time for a for a cast or two. Bit of a last minute session, this. So I said, just grabbed the kit and ran out the door, really. So we'll uh, <laughs> just look it and see. I did know this river was low. We've not had much rain, although we are due some tomorrow. So we'll. Uh, We'll be getting a bit tomorrow. Let's set this landing net up, just in case. Well, no, not just in case, because we'll catch something. We? We'll, we'll catch something, I'm sure. <laughs> we'll see. Roy, first cast. Fantastic. God, it's blowy. It's a bit gusty. It sort of blows for a bit and then, then stops. Roy. This is one of the swims I certainly can't see the bottom. It's not going to be exactly any trotting going on. <laughs> It's very stationary. 
we can uh, certainly run the float around. Just let it run around in a in a current. Well, something's just jumped out. <laughs> I say I'm sure there'll be some fish sitting in these pools. Whether or not we can tempt them is another question. Oh, hello. Just had a dip on the float then. A bit more, a bit more of a winter venue for me, really. This this place. It'll be interesting to see. If we can winkle any fish out. Well, nothing happening in there. Well, there's lots happening in there, but nothing that uh, <laughs> that we're after today. So it's bouncing away. Right. Not going to hang about. Plenty of swims to explore. We'll get moving. I have to say, it's, uh, it's remarkable how different this stretch looks. If nothing else, this will be a good, good little exploring session just to to see what it's like with the water this low. I mean, it's it's uh, it's very low indeed. There's obviously a little bit of a pool here. The water's slowing down. I didn't actually know it was here to trample down a load of. Uh, Stinging out wants to get down here, which has obviously not done the swim any good at all. We're walking up the stretch at the moment, so we can always fish these on the way back down again. So I'll put a bit of bait in. I know a lot of people like to, to bait up first, don't they? And then bait up a few swims and fish them. But, uh, tend to just get straight in. Oh, blimey. I'm getting absolutely mullered. Oh, dear. We certainly found lots of fish. <laughs> but uh, lots of very small fish from the looks of the bites. Of course, the other trouble with uh, fishing in the autumn on rivers like this is all the foliage that's everywhere and all the reeds in the river and stuff. Much, much easier fishing in the winter when everything's died back. Well, as I say, just fancy to go. Do love this stretch. There we go. Oh, well, that worked, didn't it? Just ran it up to that snag. <laughs> oh, blimey. Just trying to get in the uh, in the far side cover. Obviously, being a chub. <laughs> Fab. Right. Let's try and set this net up one handed. Not even very big. <laughs> there we go. Oh dear. Don't forget to set your net up. <laughs> there we go. In you come. Got him. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. No monster at all, but uh, very happy with that. Lean summer chub. Well, there we are. Fantastic. <laughs> Beautiful condition as well. Absolutely wonderful. Right. We'll uh, we'll get him in the edge here. In the net. Let's see if we can winkle another one out before we uh, before we move on. It's usually one and out <laughs> small rivers <laughs> but you never know there's a small chance we'll uh we'll winkle another one out you'll be happy for five minutes just down here in this in this net it's hard to know what a what a uh, 
bites off little dace and what I bites off proper fish because I didn't strike it that straight away. I just thought, nah, it's, it's not a proper bite. Now nah, we'll, uh, we'll perhaps come back. Get a bit of, put a bit of bait in, we'll perhaps come back. Now, this is a swim I have fished in the past. I always fish it because it's it's a bit deeper than everywhere else. Although, I never really do much good in it. <laughs> so I don't know why I always drop in here, but it always seems a good spot. And given that it's a bit deeper, I'll have a little go now. Just sprinkled a little bit of bread in. As I say, it's, it's, it's hardly moving today <laughs> compared to... Normally it's pushing through here a little bit generally. But we'll uh, we'll see, you never know. As I say I don't normally fish this time of year so I really don't know which swims fish and which swims don't and I don't even know which swims will be fishable really in these conditions. Lots of little fish swimming about on the top, little chublets and stuff, getting lots of nibbles. <laughs> little chubs just come up and nose and float. There we go, that was the one I think <laughs> that we could lift them out of the water just about. <laughs> well, there we go, <laughs> little chublet. It came up and just nuzzled my float as I moved it. <laughs> Fab. Right, no way we're going to be keeping any fish in this swim. It's a long way down to the water. A landing net will reach just about, but uh, it'll be tricky. Well, I'll just come to this swim here. <laughs> the, the water is barely moving. Clearly that means it's a bit deeper. We'll deepen up a bit. I'm not sure how well we're going to do here on the float. As I say, it's not even moving. <laughs> I think possibly a mistake coming to this stretch today and possibly a mistake bringing a float. Although I said that, I think we'd have really struggled on the bottom. There's just no flow to it at all. River fish don't really respond when there's, there's no flow on the water. Let's see if that will even run through. Moving. <laughs> Hello. Oh, well, that went under. <laughs> when I gave a proper strike, that went under and disappeared. I really did think that uh, I was going to connect something there. <laughs> it's probably not done the swim any good. <laughs> Definitely need a more buoyant float, I think. <laughs> There's a lot of fish in here. We can always put a worm on, perhaps. Because whatever it is down here is just stripping the, the bread off the hook very quickly. I think it's worth perse persevering here for a bit, though. Perhaps give it 15 minutes. Keep the, uh, keep the mash bread going in. There's clearly numbers of fish here. <laughs> well, we've got one of the culprits. 
a little chublet. <laughs> That's probably why we hooked him, because he's got a big mouth. <laughs> well, I think I shall wait for a bit more water on her till it's got a bit colder before I come back. It's really not the conditions for this place. Definitely a winter river, really. Let's try running a dendra through, see what happens. <laughs> I say running through. <laughs> More like sauntering through. <laughs> Let's saunter a, a dendrobina through. Oh, it's getting smashed already. <laughs> God, it's gone. Float is gone. Oh, it's back. It's gone again. <laughs> well, it's getting more attention than the bread. It can withstand it at least. Oh, it's gone. Still gone. Still gone. What have we got here? Oh, we've got something. Putting a bend in the rod. Perhaps it's a stripey. It is a stripey. Not a bad one either. I think that's possibly my first, or certainly getting on for my first perch in this river. I don't think I've ever caught perch in here before. He's no monster, but uh, he put a bend in the rod. <laughs> Quite pasty looking compared to the ones in the Avon, where it's very, very clear. I'll set off for that. And we'll stick him in the net down here. Guess he'll only go back there and uh, scare all his mates if we don't. What I am going to do while this is out of the water as well is change his float over. I put the dome top back, one back on, because this one's just getting pulled under far too easily. So with this bigger float on, the float should, uh, well I say bigger, it's just got a dome top, so it'll be harder to, to pull under the water, that's the idea. I put the other one on purely because it would be would be easier to pull under. But it's kind of backfired a little bit. But that'll be certainly a lot harder to pull under. So in theory, only a bigger fish be able to pull it under. That's that's my thinking anyway. Well, catching these greedy little chublets. <laughs> but unfortunately, as I think that the more of these we catch, the less likely we are to catch any of the bigger ones. I think we're probably, chances of catching anything big in here are roughly zero. Right <laughs> now, the amount of little chub on pulled out. this a perch I think this oh that's a nice stripey <laughs> well it's a nice one there's a few perch under there isn't there that's fab a bit bigger than the last one <laughs> a little bit <laughs> there we are it's about that. Fab. Well, we're not quite catching the big chub I thought we might catch, but uh, certainly enjoying it, fishing in here on this swim. Ooh, I can't miss that. That was a lovely slow pull under, that was. That was, that was a proper bite. I believe I missed that. 
float just slowly sank away, pulled under. That's quite annoying. I think that was a better fish, judging by the bite. I managed to miss it. Oh, hello. This feels a bit better. Wow, another perch. They are getting a bit bigger. Cool. Really is turning into a perch session. Certainly the biggest one so far. <laughs> Certainly are getting a little bit bigger. I mean, they're no monsters, are they? But you never know. It's a great thing about river fishing and small rivers, especially. You just never know what the next bite's from. <laughs> oh dear, what we got now? A gudgeon. <laughs> well, this is wonderful. Got a rice mix bag going on here. <laughs> Little gudgeon. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, this is awesome. I should have bought some maggots now. Deliberately didn't bring maggots. I thought, no, no. If I bring maggots, we're just going to get minnowed out completely, which is quite possibly what would have happened. Now, time for a move. I'm going to have a little bit further up the stretch and get these... Uh, Fish back. Go and have a look further on. Well, she's certainly not trotting. <laughs> Uh, I would imagine it's quite deep in here. See, it's literally about eight or ten foot wide by me. Must be quite deep. Because it would have been scoured out. Hopefully, we can uh, winkle a fish or two out. Right? Oh, hello. There we go. What's this? <laughs> Little chub. <laughs> Not a minuscule one, but... <laughs> Not a big one either. Oh, sort your net out again. <laughs> Come on out. Probably lift him just about, but we won't net him. Well, the uh, float started uh, drifting about sideways, and <laughs> as I say, it's not a beast, but uh, <laughs> seems to be the way of things today. I don't think the big ones are, are going to play ball. We'll keep him down there, though. So I don't want him spooking any fish. We've only been fishing here for a few minutes. <laughs> Immediately going sideways the float. <laughs> yeah, I think we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be uh, inundated with small chub again. I think we found them down there. Or perhaps they found that bread that I put in earlier. <laughs> no, nothing doing in that. 
a couple of little chub. Right, we're uh, we're retracing our steps now. I think we're just gonna go and try that spot where we had that reasonable sized chub, and then call it a day. I think. So far off getting some rain. Don't fancy soaking, so we'll uh, we'll get back off up there and try that one last swim. No, I'm going to call it a day at that. Yeah, well, I thoroughly enjoyed that. The big fish haven't played ball, but uh, not massively surprised to say this this river is very, very shallow. And at the moment, it wants, I think, about a foot of water on it would do it some good and uh, would help with the bigger fish. But uh, I think they're all tucked away in their little hidey holes and not really interested. But uh, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed that and uh, caught three perch. I've never caught a perch on this river before, so that's cracking. <laughs> and uh, plenty of bites. Plenty of fish, but uh, as I say, no big ones, but never mind. Certainly enjoyed myself. Now I'm planning on getting out again uh, within the next few days, certainly before the weekend. It's going to chuck it down tomorrow, apparently, but might be able to do a bit of shower dodging. If not, we'll get out on uh, on Thursday. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support. And I'll see you all again very soon.